Hey, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'll show you how my blood sugar is affected while riding my road bike. Okay, so we stopped here in the forest uh, after about 20 minutes of riding. And I started out this ride with about 14 millimol uh, of blood sugar. And I'm gonna take my first test now to see how it's affected by, by this average riding we've done. Fifteen. The blood sugar was fifteen. So I guess the the food I ate uh, just before riding um, hasn't really, and the insulin hasn't really kicked in yet. And so we'll continue riding and see what happens later. Okay, so we made it back eventually. Uh, after an hour and a half of riding, about 30 kilometers, uh, and it almost got dark, but we're fine, it's okay. So I'm gonna take uh, my last blood sugar test and see what uh, what it's like now after after the ride. Um, I didn't I didn't eat anything during this ride. It's just basically just only because it was so short. So I think usually if I go for longer rides, I try to bring chocolate bars and bananas and stuff to eat and uh, get something in my system every hour or so. Um, I try to calculate like one gram of carbohydrate per. Uh, kilogram of uh, body weight for me so for me I need 84 grams of carbohydrates per hour and I get that through eating bananas and a chocolate bar and adding up that with some sports drinks okay so let's see it's 13.3 uh, which is uh, just a tad lower than it was when we started so um, I guess it's not a super change but anyway that's how it affected my, the short ride affected my blood sugar. Uh, and if you want to see more of this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Just click uh, on the link below and uh, leave a comment. And thank you for watching.